electric field at a point is the electrostatic force experienced per unit positive charge placed at that point right so let's not forget that we can have our electric field as the force divided by the charge right so this is where the definition is sort of coming from an electric field at a point is the electrostatic force experienced per unit positive charge place at that point right and then now let's move to 8.2 so 8.2 is saying that are the charges negative or positive let's read through our statement and see what's happening so we have two identical point charges x and y that are placed two millimeters apart point p is 30 millimeters to the right of charge y the net electric field at point p is 5.44 times 10 to the power 6 newtons per columns to the left right so now the question is asking us if the charges are positive or negative so when you have a point p right or any point you can always take that point as a positive charge right you can always do that to answer this kind of questions so if we take that point as a positive charge and then it's experiencing an electric field to the left then what does that tell us that tells us that we have a negative somewhere here right so that negative is pulling that positive that why it's moving to the left right so we can conclude that x and y are two negative charges right so we can make the conclusion and say that x and y are two negative charges as they are pulling a positive point charge to the left right if they were positive they will be pushing it to the right but then for this case they are pulling it to the left right and 8.3 so we have 8.3 let's draw the resultant electric field pattern for charges x and y so we have x which is negative and we have y which is negative and then what do we know about like charges we know fully well that like charges repel right so we're supposed to yeah demonstrate that and then now you just need to know where the electric field lines point in a negative charge the point towards the charge right so yeah the arrows must be pointing towards the charge then we must have the same thing for y since y is also negative and it has uh, the same magnitude right yeah because if it didn't have the same magnitude then we're not supposed to have the same number of filled lines right and then now they repel uh, we must demonstrate that in the following manner right yeah and i think you know that's about enough we can see that uh, they are negatively charged because the full lines are pointing towards the charge itself and then it's easy to also see that uh, they are repelling right um 8.4 8.4 so we have 8.4 here which is saying let's calculate the magnitude of charge x right so we're given the net electric full that point p which is say to be so we have e net being equals to 5.44 times 10 to the power 6 newtons per columns and then now the question is saying let's find the magnitude of x so we're gonna say that e net is equal to e1 plus e2 right we can say uh, e1 is the electric field due to x and e2 is the electric field due to y right so if we do that we're gonna have e net being 5 uh, times 10 not 5 times 10 but 5.44 and then times 10 to the power 6 right uh, let's not forget that e is equal to k q divided by r squared right so e1 will be 9 times 10 to the power 9 multiplied by um let's say the charge of x right divided by R squared so how far is x from point p let's look at the left hand side so we have these two millimeters from x to y and then we have the three millimeters 
from y to 5. So it's 5 millimeters away from p. So when I say 5 millimeters uh, divided by a thousand, that we convert into meters squared. And then plus 9 times 10 to the power 9. And then the charge or the magnitude of y. But then we know that x and y are equals to each other basically. So we can just put x here, right? And then divided by how far away is y from p? Only 30 millimeters, right? So we're going to have 3 divided by 1000 squared. So uh, we're going to have 5.44 times 10 to the power 6 being equal to. So we can take x as a common factor, right? Because uh, we have x on this part and then we also have x on this part. So if we take it as a common factor, we're going to have x multiply by 9 times 10 to the power 9 divided by 5 divided by 1000 squared plus 9 times 10 to the power 9 divided by 3 divided by 1000 squared right so you can see what we have there so we just need to divide both sides by the coefficient of x right if we do that then we're gonna have um the value of x so right uh, if you go ahead and do that you're gonna get x is equal to 4 times 10 to the minus 9 colon right so you're supposed to say 5.44 times 10 to the 6 divided by this entire expression like i'm saying and then you're gonna get uh the charge being equal to 4 times 10 to the minus 9 columns right um yeah i think i think that is it that is it that's all we need and moving to 8.5 so 8.5 is in that charge y is now replaced by an identical positively charged point charge how will the magnitude of the net electric field point at p be affected choose from increase decrease or remain the same um so let me show you so let's see this is our point p so we have uh, the electric field the electric field y right pulling p to the left so we have the electric field y pulling p to the left and then we have uh, the electric field x also pulling p to the x yeah to 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 the left so that's what you have but then now there's been a few changes y is being replaced by a identical oppositely charged so they were all negative initially right? now y is positive when y is positive the electric field is now going to be pushing <coughs> point p to the right right because we're saying that uh, point p is positive so we gonna instead have the following so the electric field uh, as a consequence of x is still to the left but then now we're gonna have the electric field due to y pointing to the right right and since uh, the electric field strength is a vector it should decrease 